The Great Bear Rainforest is a coastal wilderness on the north coast of British Columbia. It's largely characterized because of its intact rainforest. It's separated by this huge coast mountain range and it's nourished by one of the most productive oceans on the planet. The combination of the ocean next to this rainforest represents some of the most diverse predator-prey relationships outside of places like the Serengeti. Over the past 30 years, I've had the chance to make a number of different documentaries about the Great Bear Rainforest for television. But it wasn't until I got a chance to work on this giant screen film that I think for the first time I'm going to be able to share with audiences what this place really feels like. The challenge for us as filmmakers was how do you capture the breadth and scope of this amazing place on film? Just when we started filming, a small super high resolution digital camera had just hit the market and that revolutionized how we could film wildlife for the giant screen. But we knew we wanted 65 millimeter IMAX film for our aerials because there's nothing bigger in the film world. So IMAX frames are different because they go through the, the camera like this. Uh, other 65 mil cameras go through the camera like this way, vertically. So it's a much smaller image area compared to what the IMAX image area is. And that's what makes IMAX special. It's 10 times larger than normal motion picture film. But 24 frames, each one of those is exposed every second. Aerials are so important to these films, and the Great Bear Rainforest is ideally suited to them. Towering trees, misty fjords, majestic peaks, glaciers, and waterfalls are all part of what makes this place so special. But we also had to get our cameras into the forest and along the waterfalls and streams next to bears catching salmon and we had to get into the ocean and underwater as well. It was a massive undertaking. We've been filming pretty solid for almost three years. We've traveled thousands and thousands of miles on our boat from the offshore islands, taking us all the way up into these vast river valleys. So many different really ecosystem types within this coastline. It's extremely challenging, but it's been an incredible journey. Most people will never get a chance to experience the Great Bear Rainforest in person. But watching this film on the giant screen is going to give you the next best experience to the real thing. Here it's sort of escaped time. For well over 10,000 years, there has been this very stable coexistence between the ocean and the rainforest and the First Nations people that have lived here. We're not talking about coming here to restore or to fix the damage that's been done. All we really have to do with this landscape is protect what's here. And so it's very much one of the motivators for us to make this film, is to inspire people to want to protect this place.